Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now today we're going to talk about language, alright? Today we have hundreds of different languages. We have Korean, Chinese, Japanese, English and we all have a writing system, right? ABCs, the Hangul system, the Kanji system in Japan. And now let's think about long, long time ago, 100,000 years ago when we were living in caves, right? How did we communicate? We didn't have letters. We, if you look at the old uh, pyramids in Egypt, they don't have you know, a lot of words. They have something we call hieroglyphics or pictures, right? They use pictures of animals, of people, of actions to sh tell a story. Now this picture telling language has come back, right? And we don't really call it hieroglyphics anymore. We call them emojis. Emojis today, when we, uh, when we are texting with our smartphones, it's really become a, a language because it may be a picture, but a language is something that we use to you know, communicate with each other, right? We have sign language with our hands and even the emojis can be a language. So, emojis, tomorrow's smiley faces. All right, so selecting the perfect emoji to express an emotion requires talent and skill. Talent means skill, right? If you are feeling something, you don't want to say, I am feeling this. You want to send a picture or an emoji you need to really have a skill for that. There are just some situations when a texter is unsure, they're not sure of a smiley faces or poops emotional message. So if somebody sends you a smiley face, we don't know exactly what that person is saying. Hmm, is that person happy? Is he joking? The poop, is that person in the bathroom? Is that person angry? There's a little bit of confusion. Um, Apple is now creating more texting confusion. It's going to be more confusing. What does this mean? What does this picture mean? By adding a hundred new emojis. The good news, however, is that Apple's newest iOS 10 emojis provide users with more gender and ethnicity options. Gender means boy or girl, right? So before, it was usually boys doing the emojis, picture of a boy, picture of a boy running. But now, there's going to be more gender. There's going to be girls and boys and ethnicities. Ethnicities means what um, sort of what culture you are from. So you guys, your ethnicity is Korean, right? If you go to India, their ethnicity is Indian. If you go to Africa, their ethnicity is, I don't know, Congolese or Kenyan or all these things. So they're going to not only have white people, Americans, Caucasians, they're going to have black people, Indian people, Chinese people, Japanese people, Russian people, all more ethnicities of the world. Apple users can pick female surfers, again, more gender, and basketball players. The company's goal, their mission, is to promote diversity. Promote means they want to make it more popular. Like, hey, uh, let's be friends with everybody. Indian people be friends with Pakistan. Korean people be friends with Japan. Oh, they want to make more diversity or different ethnicities, different kinds of people all be more friendly. So, how can and emoji promote diversity. How can emoji make the world a friendlier place? Originally, emojis were invented to express an emotion or expression between mobile phone users without using too much data. So if we want to say, uh, hey, I'm feeling sad because I didn't do my homework, when we send that, we have to use a lot of internet, right? But when we use an emoji, it's very quick, it uses very little internet, and we can still express or show our emotion. Are we sad? Are we angry? And we can express it, we can tell that other person. The idea was to create a simple one character code. So if you want to say hello, 
That's H-E-L-L-O. That's five codes, right? Five secret codes. But for the emoji, it's just one smiley face. Send it, right? Or a, a picture of somebody doing this. That means hello, and that's one code, and we send that instead of sending H-E-L-L-O. That's five. So, <clears throat> if a person only sees one kind of character, if we only see this one smiley face, it narrows or makes smaller the people's world view, right? People have to see all of the world. They have to look at all people. But when we have this one emoji, we kind of close our mind a little bit, right? We don't want to see the outside. We only want to see here. So, so if students only see boys as detectives, students may believe only men can be detectives. So in the emojis, all the sports were doing it were done by boys, right? So when people see these emojis again and again and again, they don't really they don't really think about it, but in their mind they are sort of training themselves. Oh, I guess only boys can play sports or when girls see it they say oh i cannot play a sport i'm a girl but these emojis are boys right so they don't they don't like that apple google cacao and line all popularized or made popular character-based electronic communications now apple wants to increase diversity awareness by working closely with the unicode consortium an organization a group that maintains the codes used to display emojis there's an actual company or group their goal mission is to ensure or make sure that popular emoji characters reflect or show the diversity of people everywhere so we just want to show girls and boys and russians and japanese and all different countries and people doing you know anything right before it was only men and white men right but now we have black women chinese girls uh, indian boys all sorts of different diversities okay we have three review terms here a what do you need to choose to what do you need to choose the perfect emoji to express an emotion so if you are feeling uh, a little worried, right? Which one would you choose, right? Would you send this one? Or maybe you would send this one here, worried, right? To choose the right emoji, we need a lot of in intelligence, social intelligence. We need a lot of skill. And we also require or need talent. Talent, it means a skill. It means a special ability to know which one to choose, right? B, what does iOS 10, Apple's newest system, provide with their emojis? They provide more gender and blank options. So more gender means boy and girl, and blank options means American people, Chinese people, Korean people, Japanese people, and we call those different sort of cultural people ethnicities. So when you ask somebody, hey, what is your ethnicity? You're not asking them what country they are from. You're asking them um, what culture is their mother and father. If their mother and father are Korean, but they live in America, well, their ethnicity is still Korean, right? Their mother and father are Korean culture. So even if they live in Russia or Korea or America, their ethnicity is Korean. See, using these emojis, what is Apple's goal? They want to ensure, make sure that emoji characters reflect the blank of people. So when we think about people, there's so many different kinds of people. There's smart people, big people, slow people, ugly people, pretty people, right? So what we call all those different things, we say that is diversity. There's diversity in animals. There's lions, cats, cheetahs, bears, right? There's diversity in fruit, apples, lemons, oranges, cherries, strawberries. So diversity just means different, many, a lot of different things. Okay, we have three review terms here. A, 
Apple is now creating more texting blank by adding a hundred new emojis. So right now, we have so many emojis or different characters that we send that don't really tell exactly what they are feeling, right? If we have a smiley face, we don't know if that person is happy, if that person is laughing, we don't know. We are kind of unsure. So we are already unsure, but when we add more, we are even more unsure, like we are more confused. They are creating more confusion. Confusion means you are not sure what to do. You're, uh, do I choose this one? I'm sad. Do I send the crying one or the uh, unhappy one? We don't know, right? There's too many emojis, that's what they're saying. B, the idea was to create a simple one character blank, uh, sort of a secret message, right? So I gave you the example before. If we want to say hello, H-E-L-L-O, that's five codes, right? That's five. We have to send it. That means we have to use more internet. But if we send one smiley face, that's one character, and we send it, it uses a little bit of internet. So we say a code. A code is like a secret language that computers use to talk to each other. See, Apple, Google, Kakao, and Line, all blank, character-based, such as like the Kakao characters, the Line characters, electronic communication. So these are the most, I guess, popular companies that are making messaging applications. And these companies made this kind of communication popular. They made it fun. They made it, you know, worldwide and they made it so that a lot of people use it. They made it popular. They made it famous. So to review, confusion is when something is, doesn't make sense. Code is what computers use to talk to each other, right? You and I, we can just say hello and we, you understand it, right? But computers, they have a special language, a special code. And popularized means to make popular. So Steve Jobs popularized I, uh, iTunes and the iPod and Samsung popularized the galaxies and the notes. And I'm sure many of you already know how to communicate with emojis, but just like any language like English or Korean, language is always changing and that's what is so great about this emoji system. This emoji, it will always be changing. People will have to learn it and people will use it to communicate with each other. All right. So thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.